What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas, and we're going to have a really interesting discussion about three quarter ton towability and specifically what type of fifth wheel I would generally recommend, but some factors that you have to keep in mind anytime you're considering towing a fifth wheel with a three quarter ton truck. Now, I know a lot of people would assume that some of these smaller fifth wheels are half ton towable, and I'll talk about that likely in another video, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna talk about three quarter tons. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so we're in the section taking a look at these Grand Design Reflection Series fifth wheels. Now you see a series here called the 150 series, and a lot of folks probably assume that because it says 150, it's being specifically compared to say an F-150. Now what I wanna talk about again is three quarter ton towability. So before we dive in really deep to look at this specific unit, what I want you to keep in mind is a thousand pounds. I want you to think about a thousand pounds. What am I talking about? Well, right off the bat, when you look at a unit like this and we look at the GVWR, which is 10,195 pounds, and you see that it has a 1,793 pound cargo capacity, in a dry configuration, this sitting the way it is right now, you're roughly gonna have about 1,200 to 1,500 pounds worth of pin weight transferring to the back of your pickup truck. Why? Because if you're looking at this extremely lightweight fifth wheel, you're probably gonna be closer to that 1,200 to 1,250 pound dry pin weight. If you were looking at a unit right here, which has about 2,000 pounds additional in terms of GVWR, you're gonna look closer to about 1,500 pounds, maybe even 1,700 pounds worth of pin weight in the configuration you are looking at right now. What does that mean? That means that this propane tank and the one on the opposite side are empty. There's nothing inside of it. Until you purchase this unit, these are gonna be dry. They typically will fill them for you when you buy it. But the difference between a dry 25 or 30 pound propane can versus a full is gonna be anywhere between 60 and 100 pounds just in propane. Now, when we flip this open, There are no batteries currently in this unit. So there's space for one battery right here. It is not connected and there's no battery in here right now. Why does that matter? Because that's gonna add roughly 60 pounds worth of weight when everything is said and done. Also, what do you put in the bed of your truck? A hitch. A hitch is generally gonna add about 150 pounds worth of weight to the bed of your truck. And then we have to talk about people people inside of the truck. Typically people that buy RVs are gonna have a family, but not all the time. There's a lot of couples that go out. So depending on the weight of the people in the truck, you're gonna have to take that away from the truck's payload capacity as well. And this is a topic I've talked about a lot, but I've never gone into quite this much detail. So when you look at this Reflection 150 series, factoring about 1,200 pounds worth of dry pin weight on the back of your truck before you've put your batteries or your propane in, now you wanna factor an additional 1,000 pounds worth of batteries, propane, hitch in the bed of your truck, and people that will be in the truck. Now, of course, if you don't have 700 pounds worth of people in the truck and you might have 300 pounds or 250 pounds or whatever it is, then of course you would give that weight back to the truck in terms of payload capacity. So what do I mean? A typical three quarter ton truck in a diesel configuration is typically gonna have about 2,200 pounds worth of payload capacity. Sometimes much less, sometimes a little bit more, depending on the GVWR of your specific truck and how it's configured. But that being said, oftentimes if you get it in a gas configuration, you can have upwards of 3,200 pounds or maybe even more because you are removing the weight of the diesel and putting a much lighter engine inside of that truck so it factors into the overall weight. So typically your cargo capacity is gonna be much higher on a gas equipped truck than a diesel. But again, that all is factored by the truck's GVWR and how that truck is configured, what accessories and things are on it. But that's just a good rule of thumb. Gas trucks weigh less than diesel trucks. So what does that mean? A unit like this, fully loaded, hitch, people inside, is likely gonna have a total cargo weight deduction from your truck of around 2,000 to 2,500 pounds. So if you take that much weight off of a diesel truck with only 2,200 pounds worth of cargo capacity, 
in most cases, you're gonna be right at the maximum cargo capacity of your vehicle. Now, if you have 2,800 pounds worth of cargo capacity, as reflected by the door sticker, then you'll have some excessive cargo capacity of your truck, and it makes it more feasible to tow something like this. So that being said, if you don't have such a large family or you have fewer people or lighter people in the truck, well, that's gonna also give you some payload capacity back. And that's something else you also need to think about. So at the end of the day, when I talk about these fifth wheels being three quarter ton towable, I mean so only in the sense that you have a truck with enough cargo capacity to properly handle the pin weight, the weight of the supplies in the RV, the weight of the people in the RV, whatever you load and the balance of weight that's transferring to the truck and understanding how that affects payload capacity. Because if you understand specifically what your truck's payload capacity is and how much potential weight you're gonna be transferring to that truck once you've loaded your trailer up, you'll have a much better understanding of why some of these may look to be half ton towable or three quarter ton towable, but you might be skirting the very, very edge of what your truck's capable of doing safely. And a lot of that goes into what wheel tires you have on your truck, what suspension options you have, whether you have a camper package with an overload leaf, the different variables that affect your specific truck. And again, the gross vehicle weight rating of your truck, whether it's a you know 12,000 pound GVWR on a three quarter ton or a 10,000 pound or a 9,000 pound GVWR on your truck will directly impact what the manufacturer feels your truck is capable of carrying from a pin weight perspective in the bed of your truck. And that's exactly why I talk about three quarter ton towability when I talk about these trailers that oftentimes people think are designed to be towed by a half ton truck. Anyways guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.